Hi, today we will get to know a website called Shaka AI. This is the main page of the site. You can find many different models here, in all kinds of styles and fields. Unlike Civitai, who blocked the use of SD3 here, you can still find and download SD3 models. And you can already find some models of the community that are based on SD3. A nice detail that you should pay attention to as soon as you click on a certain model, below it tells us which license it is and what use can be made of the model. If we return to the home page, you can see that there are a number of models limited to site members. They are marked with a crown, and assuming you want to check them out, you need to register on the site. There are quite a few models here, and to find a suitable model you can filter, I will choose the SDXL models and it looks like an interesting model, XL Realistic High Compatibility. If you want to work with a certain model, just click on Run Model, and the image generator will open. This is your canvas, and here you can see the pictures you created. To begin with, your window will look like this. Here you write the prompt. Let's write photo of a dog in the middle of a street, looking on a cat, black and white, street photography. Here you can see how many credits it will cost you. With the free subscription, you get 200 credits every day. Before we click Generate, we have an option to let Shaka style the prompt. You get four variations. We choose the first option and click Generate. Here, you can see the ratio, the dimensions, and the number of images you produce. And this is the result that was obtained. Notice that under the image, you have all kinds of options. We will go through them. In the meantime, we will click on Vary to produce another variation of the image. And this is the second image. As you can see, it is quite similar to the first picture in terms of composition and style, but with small changes. Let's try to work with another model. Here on the left side, we have a gallery of all the models. I will choose Architecture Models and use this model as a basis. To work with it, simply send it to the generator and click Generate, and this is the result we got. Let's try the same prompt with a different model. Select this model. As soon as I click on Send To to Generator, you see that the pump also changes, so I simply delete it and use the prompt from the previous picture. Apparently, it is an SDXL model. And you can see that the resolution changes automatically. And this is the result we got. As you can see, there is a very big effect on the type and quality of the model. Let's try to control the process more and for that we will switch to custom mode. It looks like the bar just moved to the right side, but here we have a lot more control. First of all, here is the model. I will stay with the same model for now. And the interesting option is here, under image reference. If you click on the plus, you can upload an image. You can also use any of the images that are on the canvas. You have already created them, and you can upload an image from your computer. I will work with this sketch, and we will try to do what we did based on this picture in the workflow we saw at Comfy. The first thing is general reference. It's actually image to image that the higher the similarity, the more similar we will get to the reference image. We will also make one image with low similarity, just so that we understand the difference. And you can see that now there is not so much connection to the sketch we uploaded. To work based on the plan, we need to work with control nets that will help us control the result. And that's exactly what you can find in the additional options we have here. So to preserve the composition and dimensions of the architectural plan, I will use two different control nets based on the same image. One, line art that keeps the lines from the reference image and the second depth which helps preserve the composition. Because I'm working with two control nets, I'll lower their weights a bit. And here you can see how the line art sees the image and how the depth analyzes it and click Generate. And as you can see, the picture is already much more similar to the plan we uploaded. And now you can play with different models, with different prompt E and with different variations to get new designs based on the plan we uploaded. So I hope you learned and we will meet in the next lessons. You are of course welcome to subscribe to the channel, comment and like if you liked it.
and most importantly, have fun.